Hey guys, Joey B here. If you remember uh, back in a few videos that I had done in the past, I talked extensively about RFID chips and how it was in Obama's healthcare, bear, uh, healthcare bill uh, set to take effect in March of 2013. Um, and now we got this piece coming across the wire today and it says saying that the use of the RFID tracking technology to be mandatory in US food stamp program and it's a very uh, significant uh, development here as it says here food stamp welfare individuals must soon be chipped and it says here uh, from and, and a biblical quote from Revelation 13 verses 16 to 17 and he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And uh, in a little while, as it says here, the above scene in Revelation 13 will become a global reality. People can no longer buy or sell without the mark of the beast. You'll learn a little bit more about that with this link here. And uh, I had done uh, videos on it in my Bible prophecy section here on exaltedtruth.com. But it says, and sometimes uh, that would mean no longer being able to eat. And uh, again, if you had, uh, if you go on my website, exaltedtruth.com, and look at the recent video I did titled The Globalist Depopulation Agenda and Sinister DNA Plan, you'll have all the information you need in regards to this. And it says, the USDA is now considering biometric identification for all individuals who will want to benefit from their food and nutrition services. The RFID chip may just soon be a must for everyone who does not want to starve. The following is an excerpt of the executive summary of the final report of the use of biometric identification technology to reduce fraud in the food stamp program. Biometric identification technology provides automated methods to identify a person based on physical characteristics such as fingerprints, hand shape, and characteristics of the eyes and face, as well as behavioral, uh, behavioral uh, characteristics including signatures and voice patterns. Although used in law enforcement and defense for several years, it has recently been used in civilian applications and shows some promise to reduce the number of duplicate cases in the food stamp program and other assistant pro assistance programs. And uh, just another example of a problem reaction solution. They'll create the problem that gets the reaction that allows them to implement their agenda, the, the solution that carries out uh, uh, their agenda. And uh, it goes on to mention how it's already operational in some states. Um, and we had already talked about that. Uh, I mean, if you remember, even in India, they introduced the biometric system over there for millions of people. And it uh, goes on to say, here, talking about the uh, program outcomes here, it says the evaluations of finger imaging systems conducted by six states have produced the following findings. A small number of duplicate applications, uh, approximately one duplicate for every 5,000 cases, have been detected by finger imaging systems. Finger imaging systems appear to detect more fraud in statewide implementations than in regional pilot systems. Additional matches have been found by interstate comparisons of finger image data. Institution, and uh, the second bullet here, as you see, institution of a finger imaging requirement can produce a significant short term reduction in caseload because some existing clients refuse to comply with the requirement. The number of refusals depends on the implementation procedures and appears to be lower when finger imaging is incorporated into the uh, recertification process. The most carefully controlled estimate in the last bullet point here, as it says, of non-compliance among existing clients suggests that introduction of a finger imaging requirement reduces participation by approximately 1.3%. However, this uh, estimate reflects both reduced fraud and deterrence of ne uh, eligible individuals and households. So uh, here we're seeing the beginning of the implementation of the mark of the beast people as uh, we see here the use of the RFID tracking technology to be mandatory in the U.S. food stamp program and it's already being implemented in certain areas. So much love and God bless. The link's below.